This video is going to present the salvation that Lord Jesus Christ provides to men. You know, it's like, it's a truth known for ages. It's a truth that's been told worldwide. We all know that. And it's called the Gospel. And uh, evangelists tell it, Christians tell it, believers, you know. All of them share this good news. They call it the good news. Um, and they tell it to neighbors, they tell it to people, and they tell it over the internet for just one motive. The motive is that to let people know that there is a Savior called Lord Jesus Christ who can forgive sins, who can um, reconcile, reconcile us to God. Okay, so this is the story. Now, to uh, any man who hears this, it is, it is highly probable that uh, skepticism would arise. So, this video is just intended to uh, make us think why the why salvation through Christ is available to people who have faith and it is not accepted or it's not available to people who um, do not have faith. So to illustrate this example or to make uh, to make us understand faith first, uh, let's take an illustration. It's being used by uh, Sadhu Sundar Singh. Okay, an, an eminent Christian from India. Now, he used this illustration to bring home the uh, concept of faith. Here we see newborn chicks. Okay, newborn chicks. Their eyes are not open. They are just hours old. Okay, their eyes are not open. They are newly born chicks. Every one of us, okay, the men, okay, all of us, are spiritually blind like how these newborn chicks are all of us are spiritually blind okay before we accept Christ as a personal savior all of us are like that so this is the analogy now for the eyes to open you know to this transformation For this transformation, for eyes to open, what happens? Okay, what must happen to this newborn chick so that its eyes will open? It must, though it is blind, though it is but though the newborn chicks are blind, it must accept. Though the newborn chick is blind, it must, without seeing, accept the worms, which is mother grace. Now, let us think for a moment, if this newborn chick, which doesn't have its eye open, if it begins to think logically or with reason and all that, begins to uh, doubt, okay, uh, begins to now think, you must understand that this newborn chick has not seen its mother at all. So, it begins to think, that okay this worm might be poison or this um, big person I mean there's some animal that's going to harm me so better uh, let me not open my mouth uh, let me first uh, I mean, if such things go in its mind then all these newborn chicks would go on and die it has to without thinking open its mouth with instinct, you know, just open its mouth wide and cry aloud and then it is fed with the worm, okay, it is fed with the worm and when it is fed with the worm and with the, when the nourishment happens after a few weeks, after a few weeks, the eyes open, the eyes of these young chicks open after it takes the worm by faith from its mom and then it sees the mom and then it understands what the worm is Okay, then it knows that the worm has nourished it. Then it knows that it is the mom who has given the food. So, this is something which we must as humans learn from nature. How this young chick, when though it's blind, has accepted the worm from the mother. So though 
as sinners as we are, you know, as sinners as we are, you know, we must have faith. We must, you know, we are all spiritually blind at one point of time. And therefore, we should have the faith of this any bird, you know, and accept Though we don't see God, though we don't understand what Christ's salvation means, we must accept it with faith. Like how this is done. We must accept God's salvation through faith and uh, as we all know the story, you know, uh, Christ died for our sins instead of our place. So this is the story that uh, on the cross he hung. Okay. The, and he shed his blood. And the blood that, he, that God's son Jesus Christ shed is able to, you know, this is our sinful heart. Okay. It is able to cleanse our sins. It is able to cleanse our heart. It is able to purge our sins. So, God sent His Son at the right time in this world for a propitiation for our sins. Now, why did He do that? We, we were just sacrificing animals instead of our sins. That has got to stop somewhere. Then He said, once and for all, I'm going to send my Son. He's going to die for everybody in this world. Once and for all. He died on the cross. He shed His blood. And His blood has the power to cleanse man's sins. This is the gospel. This is the salvation. This is the worm which, you know, the mother bird gives to the blind. You know, to the blind. This is the worm that the mother bird gives to the blind. The same way, it is this salvation through Christ when we, though we don't understand the mystery of it, though we don't really clearly, logically, it doesn't appeal, Though it doesn't really appeal to reason or gets into our head, when we open our mouths by like this blind world and accept his salvation, it is then our eyes will be open, it is then our eyes will be open, okay, and then it is then we will be able to understand it all uh, that indeed his blood, the Christ's blood can erase our sins.